What's up guys, Chris Killian here, and today we're talking about the movie that might have broke the video game movie curse. Wreck it, Ralph. No, 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 that's a good one too, but today I'm talking about Sonic the Hedgehog. Based off the classic Sega Genesis character, Sonic the Hedgehog turned out to be a way better film than anyone expected, and it featured Jim Carrey in his funniest villain performance since The Riddler. Nice. Rub that in my orphan face. Before Jim Carrey was cast, Sasha Baron Cohen turned down the role of Dr. Robotnik, which, dare I say, would have made a much different movie. Very nice. Jim Carrey remarked during his press promotion for the film that very little of the dialogue from the pages of the script ended up in the movie. He was also given a lot of creative freedom for his non-verbal scenes, receiving basic instructions like, here's this room, and this is the music, just do something to go with it. Most people know that Ben Schwartz voices Sonic the Hedgehog, but what you might not know is that he also provides the facial motion capture for Sonic as well. Old Crazy Carl, the local who's hunting the Blue Devil in Green Hills, shows off a wildly inaccurate drawing of Sonic. This is a reference to Sanic, a pop culture phenomenon about poorly drawn portrayals of Sonic, which, ironically enough, is also how many fans describe this original design of Sonic in the first trailer. Ooh, get a load of those human teeth. Robotnik being way slimmer than usual is actually a callback to Sonic the comic, where he starts out being on the thin side before gaining his iconic egg-shaped rotundness. Outside Japan, Dr. Robotnik was primarily known as, well, you know, Dr. Robotnik, at least prior to Sonic Adventure. Sonic the Hedgehog started calling him Eggman as more of an insult, and eventually it stuck, and in some mediums they now just call him Dr. Eggman. The first level of Sonic the Hedgehog from 1991 was named Green Hill Zone and was situated in South Island. In the film, Green Hills is the name of the town where Tom lives, though the island itself and its iconic landmarks appear in the film as a young Sonic's first home. Also, a little bonus Easter egg, the street in the opening sequence is named Mega Drive, which is the name of the Sega Genesis console as it was marketed in Japan. While this is the first movie Jim Carrey is in that was based on a video game, he had previously been approached to adapt the Leisure Suit Larry games into a film back in the 1990s. And considering how well that game's aged, it's probably for the best that it didn't come to pass. In many of the video games and the cartoons, Sonic is depicted as having conjoined eyes. The film's design has him with two normal eyes, but pays homage to his classic conjoined eye design with a strip of white hair on his nose between his eyes. Initially, Chris Pratt was considered for the role of Tom Wachowski, and at one point was also being considered for Sonic himself. While he didn't end up getting either role for whatever reason, Chris will probably be okay since he's signed on to voice Mario now. Hey, hooray for me then, huh? So do you know any more cool behind the scenes facts about Sonic the Hedgehog? If so, drop them in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter at Chris Killian or Instagram at CK Comedy. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up or share it because it does help, and a big giant thanks for watching.